What's going on guys? So today I have my younger brother back there. Hey, what's up? And uh, what we're actually doing is we're trying to find him a car. So he just moved to Austin and he's going to get his first car. He doesn't really know too much about cars. But slowly but surely I'll get him into cars. So first off, uh, we actually have a few candidates. Let me just show you guys. We will be checking out and test driving. Uh, let's see, we might be checking out this Acura TL. And then we also have the uh, a Honda Civic Coupe as well as um, Mitsubishi Eclipse, which he really likes. So basically, you know, when finding a car, he's not trying to find a race car or anything. Like I said, it's his first car. He just wants things somewhat reliable, um, something Japanese, pretty good on gas. Uh, at the same time, maybe something somewhat sporty, so it's not like a granny car. Uh, he did, like I say, he doesn't know about cars, so I'm gonna walk him through this process. And some of you guys watching the videos might be interested uh, on how to purchase a car. So today we're not going to a dealership to purchase a car. We are purchasing it from, a, you know, just a private party. So from someone who owns a car. Um, I have quite a lot of experience in buying and selling cars. Uh, just the year of 2016 alone, I think I helped to buy or sell maybe almost 10 cars. Whenever a friend needs help, you know, buying a car or selling a car, they're like, Hey, Justin, you know about cars, right? Can you help me out? So, you know, over time, I kind of, I guess, you know, I'm, I would say I'm somewhat pretty good. You know, I know my stuff. So, yeah, I'll kind of go through the pros. I mean, not pros and cons, but like what to look out for when you buy a car. What I'm going to need my brother to do is, uh, we grab a piece of paper. Grab a piece of paper. And a pen. So what we're going to do is fill up a bill of sale. Um, it's important, some people like to print it out, but in our case, uh, we're just going to write it down. So write, write it down. So just write uh, I, comma, and then your name, comma, uh, has agreed to pay, and then just put a line, because you don't know who the seller's name is. Uh, and then he's going to write his name in. I, like a bill of sale should look like bill of sale I and then you know the buyer's name which is my brother's name has agreed to pay we're not sure who the person is yet so and then dollar amount for what year make and model and then write the date buyer sign with your name and the seller sign with the name home didn't get the film at the dealership uh, basically it was a dealership not actually a person selling it we didn't know it was a really small you can say kind of ghetto kind of sketchy dealership um, they sold cars for really cheap so uh, yeah, we spent a couple hours there and finally we decided to actually buy the car that we, you know, went there to check out. The first car actually. Uh, my brother really liked it. It was a good price, but man, project car. So this is what the car is. It's a 2006 Mitsubishi Eclipse GT. So it comes with a 3.8 liter V6 Myvec engine. Um, you know, like I said, some work has to be done to it, from some wheels, aftermarket exhaust, but, yeah, there she is. Just, uh, some work to do to it. So now we're the Mitsubishi brothers, I got a Mitsubishi, my brother has a Mitsubishi too, and Marco has a Mitsubishi. So, we're trying to sort of work on the car straight away. Uh, first mod, as always, same with me, we got to replace not replace but take out that ugly license plate holder yeah <laughs> so try one. Try that one. what are your thoughts fam you like i'm the excited car? You like i'm the car? excited yeah i love it yeah, my first cool. car uh project car too right yeah of course <laughs> a lot of project to do oh one mod, my brother first time working on the car first mod license plate delete yeah that clean look it's gonna be a nice project car, man. Fucking mod. Rip it off. Yeah, weight yeah, distribution. Yeah. Weight, <laughs> weight, yeah, what's it? Yeah. Weight reduction. Weight reduction. Weight reduction. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Keep the. Day one with the Mitsubishi Eclipse. Have you thought of a name for her or him? Is it her or him? Him. Him? It's okay. Gonna be a him. Usually it's a girl. Usually we, for us guys, we call it a girl. 
This is Layla, my Lancer GT, and my uh, Civic called Jasmine, J A Z, Jasmine with a Z. So, what's her name? Oh, his name. His name? Okay. Um, what's his name? Devil Eclipse. Oh, you gotta come up with a name, like a guy's yeah, name, like nice John, or like Lindsay's oh. name is Sharky. My sister's 240, <laughs> called Sharky. What's your Z's name? For the girl, I, yeah, it's a girl. It's Zeta. Z Ooh, yeah, Zeta. I like that sophisticated yeah, like name, Z. Zeta. Zeta. Come on, you gotta get a name. And I, so I gotta Eclipse. think about it. <laughs> All right, think about I'll it. I have to think about Eclipse. it. Eclipse. So maybe a name is something with E. That's what I like. The it could uh, be. <coughs> but uh, so yeah, we're gonna change out the. Well, we really need a mass airflow sensor. But first thing we're gonna do to make it start every single time is change out that uh, little connectors right there on the battery. Both uh, positive and negative. Uh, your brother first install on the Eclipse. Like I said, daily driver slash project car. Um, what we're really trying to do is try to get it running right. Uh, it starts, but not every time. And it's missing a mass airflow sensor and intake, so we might switch it out with. I'm going to go to the junkyard actually tomorrow. Might bring you guys along, pick out like a stock intake, mass airflow sensor uh, intake filter from the junkyard. So. <coughs> Here we just went to AutoZone. That's connect the new connectors, the positive and negative. Uh, we also got some electrical tape. So uh, yeah, so, so we just disconnected the uh, both wires, negative and positive, and the we're gonna disconnect the ground. So like I mentioned earlier, the whole reason why we're doing this is because when we bought the car, the first they gave us a battery that was dead, so he replaced it with a battery. I wouldn't say new battery, but slightly used battery. Uh, and then the connection terminals on the positive and negative battery terminal were horrible. You know, being old, it's an 11 year old car, we we're a little rusted, so we went to AutoZone, picked up new connectors. So hopefully every single time when we set up the car, um, it's going to be perfect. You wouldn't have to jump start the car or we wouldn't have to, you know, just, you know, the car wouldn't give us any problems. Let's connect this wire into here. See? So you have brand new ones that are really good. Just put it like that. We're just trying to take this out. So all we got to do is cut this, this two wires and we can just throw this away. So uh, Marco right now is trying to put on the uh, positive terminal. Negative. Sorry, negative. Wait, I thought the negative. Black. Yeah, black, black is negative. negative. Red, red is positive. positive. So red is danger. <clears throat> so what we had to do was just splice out the wires um, and then reconnect that um, terminal. So connection should be way better. So it's, it's a long day for me and my brother. Um, basically, like I said, you know, we had to do some work on the Mitsubishi Eclipse. And uh, yeah, it took a while, but today, you know, first day, we just wanted to get the car running right. Like I said, the ignition had some problems. It didn't switch on every time, which is a little sketchy. Uh, so we went down to AutoZone, you know, buy some new connectors. Had to, you know, reconnect the ground wire as well as um, just connect the new connectors. So we had to play around with it, um, do some wire splicing, stuff like that, but yeah. Uh, it seems to be starting every time right now and then um, you know my brother got his first hands on on the car itself so that was nice um, yep I'll put more updates on the uh, Mitsubishi Eclipse let me know if you guys like that